Welcome back Hobbits and today we're going to do a review of the Rings of Power episode 1 and episode 2. So I'm not going to really talk about the actual episode 1 and 2 bit by bit but what I am going to do is share the actual stories and what I think. I think it's great how we get to see a young Galadriel really early on and then jump straight into the scene of the past uh, getting to see the trees. This is actually really cool for a lot of people that don't know about the story this is actually a great insight seeing the city of Valinor and all these other high elves, even being able to see um, really cool little cutscenes where Finrod gets to fight in a battle, uh, kind of like the battle of uh, the elves and Sauron in Lord of the Rings, showing uh, very emotional scenes too between Gladriel and her brother, showing the connection that they had, um, and then also jumping ahead in time, showing us that Galadriel kind of was very young uh, at the start of the battle, but then grew. Uh, very old uh, as the battle went on so it must have taken a very long time even cooler was the cgi that we got to see was like sauron walking amongst his enemies seeing his how big he is and uh, this was really cool actually um even just all the the small cgi bits that we got to see throughout the movie or the film or the series that you'd like to call it, it kind of is like a movie because its quality is actually amazing the cgi was just spectacular uh i for one can say that i have not witnessed uh, this kind of cgi in a tv series before even the creatures that we got to see early on uh moving on to like the kind of the half foots this new race that we got to see as well um very similar to the hobbits that we're used to but more forest like kind of small creatures i think they're very interesting creatures and they obviously play a big part in the series as we get to learn a lot about these different characters and their living and how they kind of live independently and hide from the rest of the world each character has a very unique kind of look and personality to them so kind of enjoying the characters that we get to see so far on screen especially this nori character obviously she plays a very big part so i think we have to keep our eyes on what she has to show us especially uh moving down into the series we got to see a young elrond uh, i feel like this character has played a very good role he sometimes even sounds like hugo weaving he has a very good uh, camera presence so once again i think they did really good on choosing their cast for the uh, for the elves also getting to see a face behind calibrin raw is amazing too because he's such a big character he plays one of the biggest roles in middle earth so uh thank you we get to see that that's amazing finally getting to meet gil galad which is the high elf king um, in the books he has a very big presence so seeing this character in real life is is amazing finally um, and also just the the visuals that we get to see all the armor the cosmetics and the equipment that they use to make these characters come alive is absolutely amazing all the cgi done in uh, kazakh doom as well i can for one can say that the dwarves were probably my favorite over episode one and two durin's character was amazing he was funny he was great he um he just had just such a really good boss kind of energy to him. He um, he definitely he definitely won my my favorite character over the first two episodes. He just has such an interesting character build to him. So I think they've done really good. Even the voices and stuff and the language that they speak just matches perfectly in Middle Earth. So we also get to see uh, man and elf um, in some sense, kind of like the connection and the the rivalry they have between each other and how this elf is. Uh, part of a watchtower that's looking over middle earth but for some reason men don't really like that but i'm pretty sure we'll find out soon because in the books there's a very big reason why man doesn't trust elf uh, even given this like mysterious character more of a show so we call him the media man uh, i have a theory on who he is but i'm not going to jump to accusations straight away because i could be wrong but um even just leaving us with that is is, is pretty cool keeps us kind of thinking uh, i for one i haven't stopped thinking about it so can't wait to see what that is Another character is the guy on the boat who helps Galadriel, so we can't wait to see who that mystery man is as well. Going into episode 3, which comes out tomorrow, I for one can say that this show has already blown me off my shoes. I, I think it's amazing, I think they're doing really good. Anyone who hates on the show right now is being really too picky about it. You've got to be real, like, the show is trying to target everyone, especially the people who don't know about Middle Earth, so... I think they're doing a great job. I think it's going in a good direction. I uh, can't wait to see what comes in the next episode. So, yeah. So, if you stuck around for my review, thank you so much. If you agree with me, that's awesome. If you don't, then let me know why. But uh, until next time, thank you.